said at the beginning, we take full responsibility. It is, it is our, our plant, our pipes in the ground, regardless of why it was caused. We cannot break down one of our employees or a third party contractor. So God obviously takes full responsibility for that. Now that doesn't mean that we're going to take full financial responsibility because the contractor <laughs> still has some liability and responsibilities with us. Uh, <coughs> so we have been in talks with E and C to see what we can come up with with them to handle some of these questions that you guys are talking about. Uh, we, we, we had a, the last meeting was as a matter of fact Monday afternoon with the president of EMC. He's willing to do a lot of things uh, and I would imagine they would be willing to some of these bills and well, he, he may about. be, but it depends on his insurance company. They've already been notified, their, their insurance is notified, they've already taken care of all that, so, they, so we're not going to decide how we want to approach this back with them. It's ready to go. So that's what I can So, how can the public be informed yeah. about that process as it goes forward? Again, it, we, we, I need this group. Again, I don't know, those don't have computers. All I can do right now is based on the list we put together. Uh, Last year, I notified them of everything, uh, not just fields, the good things that, that we do have happened. I need a new certification for the base, and I signed up last email. Well, I'm asking this as a citizen so of I don't, know how to get this, I don't really have an answer for how I'm going to get in touch with everybody in this room if you don't have email or a The city a has a website, system. which I actually think is quite impressive, and it would be an excellent way for notifying residents of this city who are deeply concerned about this issue. I, and so I would suggest that that might be one of the first places you look in terms of posting information and providing mean, meaningful like, and timely uh, updates. Like so, ladies at the campground, they don't, she was saying well, they don't have the oh, electronic we do. communication. We do, but there are people but at the campground. Say, I, I, I don't know how to reach those folks who are saying that. And we can work through that. There's ways to work through that. And my question is, okay, now let's talk damages from the counties and from the citizens. Is the city of Valdosta going to put up a claim form on its beautiful city of Valdosta webpage so that we have a means of filing claims against the city of Valdosta and they can flow those claims down to the subcontractors? That would be discussed a little bit. Okay. Well, I think that should be an action item. Okay. Absolutely. Like I said, that's what we'd already discussed, like I said, with the third party contract because we knew we were going to have But there needs to be a means of collecting claims from the public and from the county. <coughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm certain that will take place once we decide exactly how the procedure is going to work. I, I, I can't just do it. It's got to be a procedure. Mm -hmm. so, so, yes, we have had, we have, that's a great question. We, 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 we're in constant contact. Well, we certainly would appreciate it if you would improve the communication to the citizens who are here in this room who have actually live in the city, pay taxes, and are deeply concerned about this problem. Absolutely. I, yeah, I agree with you. But I just want to share, we talked a lot about communication and notification. Let me kind of tell you, and I'm not playing the victim here by any means, but I just want to share this with you. After this last event, EPD doesn't want us to contact you guys anymore because y'all are finding out before they find out. And people are making calls in there before they put in the information. So now we are, we're catching them all sides again, not playing the victim, but when it comes to communication, I'm not with it. But, you know, and I, I'm telling each one of you, I told them absolutely not, I'm going to stop. If they find us, whatever has to take place, I'm not going to stop doing that. And I'm with you about finding a better so, way of communicating. Can I, can I, can I this question? So your state regulatory agency is telling you not to push out information to the public? You mentioned before the baby, and that's, I think we should let the governor know we don't like that idea. <laughs> 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 I didn't say it's not super not before the baby. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, as we've said before, if you just Google with the Coochie, Swanee River, whatever, a lot of times these things pop up, all these sewer spills and all this kind of stuff. And it's, it's devastating to our region and your region uh, when it comes to your, you know, your tourism and the quality of life in the river. So I guess my question would be, um, where do we go from here?